I believe without a shadow of a doubt. Ain't going to be long until he's going to be up here around this altar. And brother, I believe you're going to get those legs moving for Jesus. I really do. Because God's going to let you keep it. God's going to healing in your body. Doing the healing in your body. You got work to do for the Lord. And you got work to do for the Lord. God wants to establish you all to be pillars in this church. Pillars in this church. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Accept, step up here, honey. Accept it. You say, Lord, how can I? You say, Lord, me? The Lord says, yeah, you. Yeah, you. There's no accident. God knows what he's doing, folks. You see, God will choose who he wants to choose and raise up who he wants to raise up to do certain things. All of us have work to do. Every one of us. Oh, glory to God. See, God hooked you, buddy. Let me tell you something. God hooked you. Many years ago, when you drug my bus out of that road, because I blocked that whole blocked that road, you called Don, and I'd never quit praying for you. God hooked you right then, because God saw your heart. Turn your neighbor and say, "What a God we serve! What a God we serve!" Pastor, what a God we serve. God had a plan from the very beginning, Debbie. He knew, he knew what he was doing from the very beginning on all this. Your family, you. Your children. He's a good God, folks. He's a good God. I like the fact that he's in control, Pastor. I like the fact that he's in control. Because I don't want to be in control. I don't want to be in control. I just want to love on him. I want you to pray for me and my wife that we'll get more radical for Jesus than we've ever been in our lives. I know what those battles are like when the devil tries to pull you back in that old stinking castle. I thank God. I'm not in that thing. I'm not. I give him all the glory and all the praise. I want to try somehow, uh, by the help of God, to do more for Jesus in the remaining part of my life than we've ever done before. You have a great anointing on your life. You have a great... God's been preparing you from day one for this. <laughs> God's already got to figure it out for you, Pastor. He's already got to figure it out for you. The money's already waiting on you. It's already waiting on you. And you when it happens, you're going to say, that was a God thing. This whole church will say, no, that was a God thing. That was a God thing. There are people in this community who don't think it'll ever be done. There are people in this community who don't think you guys would ever have that place. <laughs> but the devil's a liar. Yeah. There's going to be people who are going to drive by too and say, sure as we're standing right here, that is a God thing. It's a God thing. It's a God thing. You're a God thing. Yeah, you are. You're a God thing. The anointing of the Lord rests mightily upon you. Like a Joshua and a Caleb. <laughs> yeah. 
You two are going to work together mightily. Mightily. Because there's unity. Agreement. You're akin in your spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's going to be people who are going to come here, brother, and they're going to say, what has happened to our pastor? They're going to say, every, every week, it seems like the anointing is growing, 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 growing. Hallelujah. The revelation, the revelation, the revelation God's going to give you is going to be increased. Be increased. Because you dare to hear God and obey God. You're not trying to pattern your ministry, this ministry, after some other ministry. You just want what God wants. Because it's God's ministry. Hallelujah. You know what I hear God saying? The day has come for his church. It's come, Brother Tom. It's come. You're going to see some things begin to consummate very quickly. Things going to begin to move very quickly. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up and say, we receive it, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. We receive it. We receive it. Don't nobody doubt it. Just believe it. Believe it. Amen, Pastor. We love you. Give the Lord praise. Will you do that? It's very hard not to get nostalgic on a closing night of revival with the Morgan family. They've been coming to full gospel now for 23 years. Some of those years we had you two times, spring, fall. Some of those years we had revivals for two weeks at a time. And then we squeezed the church picnic in between. We were crazy. What were we thinking? 